It's me, Duty Boy! I'm back with another Minecraft house design and an easy to follow tutorial to show you how to build it. It's more of a medium sized medieval house, but very roomy inside. If you enjoy this tutorial, please click the like button. Here are the materials you'll need to build the exterior. Most materials should be easy to find after a few hours of mining and lumberjacking. You'll need a lot of bone blocks. You can get these by killing skeletons, bone mealing organic materials, or by visiting a soul sand valley in the nether. If you don't have a lot of bone blocks, just substitute with more regular diorite. Find a flat area that is at least 21 blocks wide and 11 blocks deep and terraform it if needed. Start by building a cobble deep slate platform that is 17 blocks wide and 7 blocks deep. Replace all four corners with strip spruce logs. In survival mode, just place regular spruce logs and right click them with your X. On the front, move to the bottom left corner, count over 6 blocks. Replace this block with a strip spruce log, then count over two more blocks and replace this one too. Now go around and raise columns of strip spruce logs on top of each of these, all three blocks high. For these two near the middle, raise these four blocks high and add another strip spruce log across, three blocks off the floor. Now fill each of these walls with stone three high going all the way around the build. We need to knock out some doorways and windows. From the front left corner of the house go over three blocks and knock out a two high window here. From the front right corner count over three blocks and knock out another window here. On the right side of the house count over two blocks and knock out a window here. Then count over two more blocks and knock out a two high doorway here. On the back side of the house we need a three wide gap on the left side for a fireplace. On the right side of the back come in three blocks from the corner and put a two high window here. Come over three more blocks and knock out a column in the wall and fill it with strip spruce locks. Move over four blocks and knock out another column in the wall here and do the same. On the remaining side of the house, knock out a window in the middle. Now grab your spruce trapdoors and go around the base of the house, covering the base below each log column with trapdoors, two on each corner, and one below these columns on the back wall. At the front door, place a strip spruce wood below each side of the doorway, a spruce stairs in the middle, and cover the sides of both with more trapdoors. Place a spruce fence on top each and place a spruce door from inside this doorway. Go around the right side of the house and place another spruce door inside this doorway. Then below the door place two more cobbled deep slate blocks and a stairs between. Now I'm going to texture this wall section by replacing 50% of the stone with a mix of stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, and mossy stone bricks. I'm going to do the same texturing on every stone wall on every side. Now pillar up on top of the walls at the front and add horizontal strip spruce beams from the doorway over to the corner. At the corner, place a log upright, then six more behind it. Then come back and take out this upright log and turn it sideways. Now run strip spruce logs horizontally across the back of the house. On this side, do the same thing as before. Run strip spruce logs from an upright one, then go back and turn that log horizontal. Now just run more logs back to the doorway. In this little spot above the front door, add another brick. Now follow what I do very carefully. Place an upside down 
Spruce stairs at the top of this column. Skip two spaces and put another. Skip two and put another. Put two spruce slabs on either side of the doorway here. I don't know why, but it looks better later. Then continue putting upside down stairs every two spaces to the next corner. Put a spruce stairs upside down on the other side and a spruce slab between them. Skip all the way to this corner and do the same. On the back, put stairs at the tops of these two columns. Then at this last corner, also put stairs on both sides and a slab between. Finally, add one more stair and slab at this corner to finish up. Grab your oak and spruce trapdoors and fill each one of these windows with an oak trapdoor, one at the top and one at the bottom. Then shift click to place a spruce trapdoor over the top trapdoor, then place a another spruce trapdoor above it. Go around the house and do this on every window. Now pillar up on top of the walls again and this time place columns of strip spruce logs at each of the corners. Raise them each six high. Now connect the bottoms of all these columns with horizontal strip spruce logs. Now grab your trapdoors and signs and azalea bushes and cover this front left corner with a trapdoor. Place two signs on the wall then two azalea bushes. I'm gonna mix them up. These are more leafy looking because I'm using the Better Leaves add-on by Jermsey Boy. There's a link in the description. Place two more spruce signs and then a spruce trapdoor. Place three more signs and then another trapdoor. Place two more signs, two flowering azalea leaves, and then two more signs and a trapdoor. On this side, place trapdoors at either corner, then fill the middle with signs. On the back, place a trapdoor and three signs coming in from this side. Go ahead and knock out this log for the chimney. Place nine more signs along this beam, then two flowering azalea leaves, then two more signs and a trapdoor. And on this side, place trapdoors at either corner and fill in the middle with signs. Now get back on top of the beams, move to the far left side of the house, and right in the middle here, we're going to run a vertical column of strip spruce logs nine blocks high. Move to the middle of the far side of the house, find the middle block here too, and raise another vertical line of strip spruce logs nine high. Count four blocks up on this outer beam, then run another horizontal beam of logs into the middle and do the same on the other side. Connect the beams the same way on the far side of the house. On top of these beams, in the center, raise another vertical beam of logs four high. Build a four high beam in each location. Now we're going to frame the roof using spruce stairs, slabs, and planks. Place an upside down stairs on this front left beam just one block down from the top. Place a spruce slab next to it, a stair on top, an upside down stair behind it, another stair on top, another behind that, and top that with a spruce plank. Now continue placing spruce stairs front to back going up three more levels. Place an upside down stairs on the back of this one and then build the other side of the frame up the same way from the back corner. On the far side of the house, build a matching frame. Connect the two frames with a horizontal strip spruce log beam going all the way across. Place an upside down stairs on top of the frame facing outward, then turn around and place another stair facing the other way. Place another stair behind this one and keep placing them back to front until you're 10 stairs in from the side. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then go to the other side of the beam and do the same from the frame in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the center, place a spruce plank with a spruce slab on top. Now grab strip spruce logs and spruce planks and stairs and go inside. We're going to build some infrastructure to make the rest of the survival construction safe. To the left of the door, come in two blocks and place an upright strip spruce log here and then three more behind it. Then from this beam on the back wall, skip two spaces and put a strip spruce log here, then three more behind it, all the way to the front wall. Above these, right across where these two beams join, place a horizontal strip spruce log beam going across to the front. Then raise this log up to the beam and also this log at the front. Fill in the gap here with spruce planks. On this wall, raise the front beam up three more logs and then do the same up against the back of the house. Fill in this gap too with spruce planks. Place a spruce stair beside this front beam, then go up the wall diagonally with stairs. 
Place upside down stairs behind every stair. Go to the top of the stairs and fill in this gap between the stairs and the beam with spruce planks. Now we're going to fill in the second floor above both of these rooms by alternating beams of strip spruce logs with spruce slabs going from the center outward. With some floors to walk on, we can fill in the outer walls, so grab your strip spruce logs, polished and regular diorite, and bone blocks. Starting from this front corner of the house, like we always do, we're going to skip two spaces and raise a vertical beam of strip spruce logs three high. Wherever we have azalea leaves, we're going to skip these two spaces and put another beam on the other side. Skip a space and place another beam, then another space and another beam, and keep doing that until you have five beams in the middle. Skip two spaces for these azalea leaves, then place another beam here. We're fine on the side wall, so go to the back wall and place a beam on top of this log next to the space that we left for the chimney. Skip a space, then add another beam, then skip three whole spaces before you place another beam. Place beams on either side of these azalea leaves. Now run horizontal beams of strip spruce logs from corner to corner across the front and back. On the back side, you'll want to skip this space above the space where the chimney goes. Now place a polished diorite block next to and between each of these vertical beams. Don't place any blocks above these azalea leaves as your windows will go here. On top of each of these, place a random mix of bone and regular diorite blocks. Where you have gaps, you'll have more windows, so you just want to top the gap with a horizontal bone block or with more diorite. Over here in this corner, you want to set up a little window of something like this. Now grab your oak trapdoors and place them in each of these two block spaces on the bottom and the top. Go outside the house and you'll want to scaffold up to the second level. Shift click to place spruce trapdoors over the top trapdoors, then put more above those. Then shift click another into the side of the top trapdoor, another below, and then close them both. Do the same on the other side and you'll form this cute little window box. Do the same on the other side of the front. and this double window on the back. In the remaining windows, place oak trapdoors on the top and bottom, then shift click to place two spruce trapdoors above them. Repeat this on every single space window on the sides and back of the house. Now we'll go across this top beam and everywhere we have a beam, we'll place an upside down spruce stair and between these we'll place top spruce planks. Do the exact same on the back side of the house. Now grab your deep slate tile stairs and slabs so we can start to fill in the roof. Come in two from this side with two stairs, then place four slabs. Move to the other side of the roof and do the same. Come in with two stairs and then four slabs. Fill in this middle space with stairs. Now go up the frame here, placing deep slate tile stairs against the stairs and tiles against the planks. Run another column of stairs and tiles beside that. You can also do the same against the frame on the far side. Now in the space behind these floor slabs, we're going to build a little dormer window using the blocks you see 
down in my bar. Place a column of stripped spruce logs three high at either end of the slabs. Place two polished diorite on the floor between. Place bone blocks and regular diorite between the tops of the beams. Place upside down stairs up against the tops of both beams like this. Then place another stairs outside that one and another on top. Do the same on the far side. Between the two sides run two upside down stairs. Then place two more stairs on top. Place two oak trapdoors on the top of the window. Then shift click two spruce trapdoors on top of those, two to either side, and two above them. Now place deep slate tile stairs behind all these stairs and connect them over to the side. Now build another dormer window on the other side of the roof and finish filling in with deep slate tile blocks in the middle and across the top. On the back of the house run deep slate tile stairs in two from the right side of the roof, then four slabs, then run more stairs all the way across. Again we're going to run two columns of stairs and tile blocks up against the frame here. Then we're going to build another dormer window here, just like we did on the front. Now fill in the entire rest of the roof with deep slate tiles and stairs. Let's finally build the fireplace. On the back of the house build a 3x2 platform of mixed deep slate blocks, including polished deep slate, bricks, and cracked bricks. Place a campfire in the center and surround it with another variety of deep slate blocks. Place full blocks here and here and one center back. Then place stairs here and here. Place more stairs, any variety, on top of all three blocks facing inward. Then run a line of deep slate couple blocks from here all the way up through the roof. Continue until we're one block above this wooden line at the top. Then place another campfire here, surround it with spruce or dark oak trapdoors, close them, all and place a polished deep slate tile on top. Now texture the chimney by breaking random cobble deep slate up the chimney and replace them with other deep slate blocks. Inside run stairs across the top, slabs below those, walls on either side, and iron bars in the middle. Last steps on the outside are to fill in these gaps on the sides with a mix of diorite and bone blocks. Between these two planks on the frame add a line of alternating spruce slabs and stairs. Top these with spruce trapdoors to look good and prevent spawns. Do the same on the other side. Now grab the items you see in my hotbar here and move up inside to the second level. To the left here we have these two beams and we're going to continue running these all the way up to the roof. On top of this beam we're going to raise two similar vertical beams, two spaces in from the front and back walls and all the way up to the roof. At the same height where these horizontal beams are on the front and the back of the house, I'm going to run horizontal beams across these walls to connect everything up. Now fill in all these spaces with spruce planks all the way up to the ceiling. Place another spruce blank here above the stairs and then run a vertical beam from it all the way up to the roof. Now run spruce fences back to the top of the stairs. Knock a gap in the wall right here at the top of the stairs and then place a spruce door from inside this room. Knock out a gap here on the other wall and place another door here. Beside this beam place a stairs, planks behind it over to the wall, then four more stairs going up this wall. Behind this stairs I'm going to run a beam over to the wall. Then build a floor with alternating spruce slabs and strip spruce beams just like the level below. When done you should still have this little mess over here in the corner so I'm going to fill this in completely with spruce planks. We have some more cleanup to do up here in the upstairs room. Starting with these little spaces at the floor level. Fill them all, 
with spruce planks. This is a little awkward as well, so fill this in with spruce planks also. Let's clean up these windows by filling in at the top here with some uh, deep slate tiles. Yeah, I'm going to take out this and this and replace them with upside down stairs. And then we're going to put slabs here and here. And then I'm going to do the same over here. We have to do the same thing on the inside of this big room up here. First off, I'm going to come up here and do the same window treatment. Then on this side, directly across from here, I'm going to take out all of these tile slabs and replace them all with upside down stairs. We've also got to fill in this little space at the bottom here with spruce planks. And that's it. The main construction is complete. You can change the interior layout if you want and decorate the inside however you like. Here's how I decorated my house. I added a little fishing dock out in the front here with a little boat dock and added some lanterns with chains to either side of the door. Little, uh, little uh, garden over here. Some extra boxes that may have just shown up, uh, you know, like UPS out here. And uh, over here, another lantern with chain above here. And up against the fireplace in the back here, I added a little wood pile just inside the door here. Uh, I added, I turned this into a little dining room area. And then in the stairway here, I added a little railing just by adding tra oak trap doors on the side of the stairs and on top of the stairs and then opening them all up. Lantern here, little storage under the stairs. And around here is my kitchen. So under the fireplace here, I put six furnaces so that I can smelt up basically anything I want. You can swap these out with smokers or blast furnaces if you want. And then I've got a little island here made up of barrels and more storage in the back. Got a little uh, herb garden growing here, a little brew stand to brew it all up. And I've got a uh, dark oak here like it's a herb growing in the garden and fungus growing back here. Plenty of other food storage in my kitchen here. And then if we head on upstairs, uh, you can see I decorated this with a single lantern from a chain, some paintings in the hallway here. And here is my bedroom and I managed to fit this massive medieval double bed in here with little nightstands with candles on either side. And here's a little writing table so that I can uh, look out the window here and uh, be inspired to write about my journeys in Minecraft. Across the hallway here, I turned this large room into a playroom, complete with its own uh, fire pit to keep it warm in here and a chandelier hanging from the ceiling, a uh, toy chest over here in the corner, and plenty of places for people to sit and read from the bookshelf here. Up the stairs here, we go to my crafting and storage room and all of these will open, even all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, barrels in the middle for additional item storage and then every kind of workbench you could want over here on the wall. You can decorate your house differently, of course. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you build this house in your world, please send me screenshots on Twitter. I would love to see. Thanks for watching and have a great day.